hello and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial i will be explaining about what are the data types available in sql script so it is very important to know the data types before learning the main sql script so mainly uh, there are two types of data types are available one is the scalar data types and next one is the table types so let me explain and write everything here so that you can have a look at this so one type like scalar type scalar data types and and we have another one is the table types so i will show you i will give you some example what are those things and if i now first explain the scalar data types so what are the scalar data types available in the script so we have numeric data types uh, we have numeric types and we have uh, the character string types and we have uh, the uh, date time date and time types so if you give a, if i give a small example in each area so it can be like uh, numeric data type we mostly we we assign with init or int or you can write integer anyway and similar to that uh, we also have other things like decimal now uh, we have double and we do have some other variables uh, types which we don't use much like uh, tiny init and small init and uh, also we have like big init big init so these are all so if i give you a small difference between tiny init small init and big init and init there are differences like so what are the differences no so it is it is how it is storing the data everything in is how it stores data tiny init is uses mostly uh, when you are storing a very small integer like uh, it is uh, to, to the power 8 uh, 0 to 255 actually so if you are storing and uh, it stores one byte data one byte means uh, it is equal to eight bits one byte data means eight bits of eight bits data so it is uh, 0 to 255 uh, that's what is going to store and and after that we have small in it and and small in it stores uh, 16 uh, 2 byte data means 16 bits data means uh, it is uh, starting from minus like 2 to the power minus 16 uh, 2 2 to the power plus 16 minus 1 it's, it's close to 32000 or uh, something like that so similar to that it means it stores 2 byte data and then we have init that stores four byte and the big in it so that can store a hell lot of data so it is actually um, eight byte so this is how it's going to store the data so as per your need you can use these variables uh, so this is what about this uh, init part yeah so let me just put it below here okay and also we have now the character uh, string type so here we have we can use uh, car we can use uh, bar car bar car and we have uh, we have n bar car and uh, we can also use alpha numeric alpha num so that's very important uh, we might have used character for character purposes char 
and uh, for uh, variable length n worker we can use and alphanumeric is for if you are storing numeric letter as well as character so for those cases you can use alphanum so that's very important to know and for uh, date time types uh, we have uh, timestamp we have we can write timestamp now uh, we have also uh, second date as another variable second date we have date we have time so you can easily understand that oh, for anything which is required to write for date you can you can type for date time and timestamp and second date there's a small differences between timestamp and second date in the timestamp you can have uh, like uh, the the date for today as well as the or uh, the seconds but but it gives you uh, uh, the all the fractions of the second but in the second date it doesn't give all the fractions so I suppose we can have a, an example here from um, second date um, let me check whether it works or not second date from dummy So let me verify whether it works or not. Let me execute that. Uh, now we have to. We cannot. Oh, let me check for timestamp uh, whether it works or not. as time time temp anyway uh, so let me go with the video yeah so we have been talking about the date time types and then also we have uh, some other variable like uh, binary variable binary types and and here we can use like var binary var binary and similar to that we can use large object types and here we can use and also we have the spatial types so in bar bar uh, large object types we can use globe n globe and b uh, lobe those things and similar to that uh, in special types we have ht geometry so this is the types we can use mostly use in sql script and in most of the cases we use this uh, numeric types characteristics and date time and those other things like binary types large object types and spe special types are very rarely used so now i will be explaining about the table types so let me just copy and put it here and in the uh, table types uh, we uh, we have to we need to use this in uh, store procedure whenever you are using your writing any input variable and output variable so you can declare the table types here so, so for that uh, how we can write the table types before learning the table types we have we should know how to declare it so we can write like create type then the type name so you can have a type name and then uh, as table then you have to write the your list of the all the column this is the column list so this is a small uh, type so typed uh, syntax how can you write a table type and so and here your table name and if i if i write 
this type name so type name should consist your schema name so in which schema you are writing like your schema name and then uh, your schema dot your table name so that's how you have to declare your table name and uh, and your column list whenever you are defining your column so it should it so you should give the data type for that suppose you have age then type in it so so this is the way you have to define your column and now if i give you uh, an example how to create how to i will give you example now how can you create one uh, uh, one data type like create type I'm giving a type is um, like <clears> TT <throat> type as table and here you have to now you have to give all the and as this case either you can give the schema name directly here like your schema name is uh, like uh, sql sql dot or if you write this uh, table type in your schema in sql schema then you know how to write sql yeah so here you can uh, type uh, uh, your any variable like name the name <coughs> uh, obviously it's a worker the character string so you can give the maximum how much it can store 50 then you can write like so whatever the other fields you want age age you can put as in it so like this you can uh, declare the type and uh, once you write the type uh, you should know how to drop a type suppose you want to uh, you want to delete a type drop means you want to delete type from your system so how can you do it so this is as simple as i'm telling here this is just write drop then type and type name so whatever the type name you have type name so in this way you can drop a type so what we have learned today let me just summarize very quickly so that you can able to understand that it very quickly so we have discussed today about the data types in sql script so we have two kinds of data types one is scalar data types and table types and in scalar types we have discussed about numeric types characteristic types and date times types and very important to learn here this init concept this all this init concept and and also we have learned about this alphanumeric and timestamp second date and some of the um, the binary types and large object types and special types and then we have discussed about the table types here how we can create a table in store procedure and it is uh, it is very important to know that these table types are mostly used in store procedure whenever you are declaring any input variable uh, input and output variable so it is very important that you can include these table types and you can uh, you can write there and also we have learned how to drop this table so this is all about this video and thanks for watching and please uh, watch my other videos and i will be coming with uh, more interesting videos thank you